Welcome to Wire India News Art. India's low code, no code market to touch four billion dollars. Low code is a technology that allows developers to create apps and interactive platforms without hard coding language training. It uses visual tools and pre-built modules to help users create a UI for their apps. The current market value of the low code industry is thirteen point two billion dollars. This is also enabling users to create solutions that reflect specific data inquiries and workflow processes. They are low-code or no-code crafted programs that also easily be integrated into larger business processes. Low-code or no-code or LCNC is a suite of visual drag-and-drop tools that developers may use to create apps with a comprehensive user interface, integrations, data management, and logic. According to a survey by Nascom, LCNC software solutions produced over $400 million in revenue for Indian IT service providers and startups in fiscal 2021. With the appropriate levers, this sector can expand to $4 billion by 2025. The global low-code or no-code market is projected to total 13.8 billion dollars in 2021. Global markets account for over 70% of the income generated by Indian enterprises in this sector. LCNC, together with AI-written code, will be a disruptive force in the tech businesses. The good news is that a lot can be done highly efficiently with little or no code, making it easy to dethrone old, established systems and try new ones. Leading tech businesses are expected to penetrate the regional markets with these solutions designed expressly for e-commerce and manufacturing in India. According to Gartner, low-code application platforms or LCAP are expected to be the main component of the low-code development technology industry through 2022. Companies have seen better outcomes and productivity increase of over 1.5 times, and the majority of enterprises have seen a 30 to 35 percent gain in ROI when they employ minimal or no goodwill versus the traditional manner of development. There are several companies that usually collaborate with IT service providers to implement business for solutions. According to a report, organizations using LCNC solutions saw a 75% decrease in development time and a 65% reduction in expenditures. There are over 150 participants in the Indian LCNC market, with the majority of them being bootstrap startups. However, according to another report, a shortage of solutions customized to the needs of small businesses and a lack of skills in using these solutions has hampered the large-scale adoption of this service. Let's look into today's headlines in Bar India. Micron launches first 176-layer NAND SSD. Flash memory giant Micron Technology has launched a range of data center SSDs based on the latest 176-layer NAND chips. The new SSDs deliver up to 1 million random read IOPS across higher capacity drives and promise latency under 2 milliseconds for 99.99% of reads in mixed random workloads. The 7450 series drives are available in capacities from 400 GB to 15.36 TB, multiple form factors and three different interfaces M.2, U.3 and the relatively new E1.S. The series includes PCIe Gen 4 SSDs for almost any application and any server. Samsung to soon enter laptop market in India. Samsung is set to launch two new laptop models under Galaxy Book 2 series, Galaxy Book 2 Pro and Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360. Samsung Galaxy Book 2 series is successor to Galaxy Book laptop that launched globally last year. The Galaxy Book 2 Pro is a regular thin and light laptop whereas the Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360 is a two-in-one device. It features a 360 degree hinge that allows users to use it as a laptop as well as tablet. This is the first time that Samsung is bringing Galaxy Book lineup to India. IIT Roorkee installs Petascale supercomputer Param Ganga. A made in India Petascale supercomputer Param Ganga has been installed at IIT Roorkee. It is a joint initiative of the Department of Science and Technology and the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology to provide computational power to the user community of IIT Roorkee and neighboring academic institutions. The establishment at IIT Roorkee by the Center of Development of Advanced Computing has been built under the approach of the National Supercomputing Mission. RBI launches UPI 123 Pay for 40 crore feature phone users. The Reserve Bank of India announced the opening of a unified payments interface payments UPI 123 Pay for 40 crore feature phone users in India. The new facility will be accessible through IDR numbers, an app-based functionality, a sound-based format and even through missed calls. UPI 123 Pay involves four different technologies. UPI has played a major role in developing India's digital economy, recording about 453 crore transactions worth 8.26 lakh crore last month, almost double compared to a year ago. 
GoTo announces partner award winners at India Partner and GSI Summit. GoTo, previously known as LogMeIn, a leading provider of cloud-based SaaS solutions such as GoTo Connect, GoTo Resolve and Rescue, announced the winners recognized as top partners at the company's India Partner and Global System Integrator Summit. The event celebrated partners and GCIs for their contribution in empowering that change and facilitating GoTo's customers' continued shift to secure flexible work environments. That's all for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to Var India News Magazine. You can download the Var India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for the latest news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you.